Welcome back to Heroes on Our Island. I'm Mike Stevens, coming to you this week from Glen Cove. We're at the Glen Cove YMCA. They have about 5,000 members here. They also have an indoor pool where they give swimming lessons and a full workout facility. Let's go to Wyandanch now to learn about a building that's really more than just four walls. In fact, it's been a central member of its community for more than 40 years. Some think of a library as just a building with books, but in Wyandanch, it's much more. It's a center of the community. It's a community resource that's very well supported by the people that live here. You can see that by every day when you come in, computers are filled, our circulation stats are very good. We have many librarians who are just busy and the, and the staff are very, very busy answering community questions and inquiries. The library is a place, it's changing. It's a place where you can get everything from the latest DVD to books on tapes, books on CDs, children's resources, books, uh, reference materials, magazines for young adults, for children and for adults. Uh, we have programs geared to early literacy, to children, families, teens, and adults. The Wyandanch Library in Suffolk County opened in 1974 in a trailer. Years later, it moved into this building. But the building has changed as the community's needs have changed. Nancy Holliday, president of the library's trustees, has been living here in Wyandanch for about as long as the library's been in existence. The library is dedicated to serving the educational, culture, and intellectual needs of the Wyandanche community. Holiday, the other trustees and staff take pride in meeting the community's needs. They have a notary, organize trips, and put on programs and plays in the building. We have special events that we hold here. Just last month for Women's History Month, we held a special program that was in honor of Dr. Jones, who's the assistant superintendent of the one inch public schools. We have programs like for celebrating, like we had Black History Month, and quite every week we have some kind of a program. We might have a keynote speaker. And then after that, we have local programs. We might get kids from the high school. They come and they do their little dance and do their little skit and things like that. The parents come along and everybody, they seem to enjoy themselves. We offer uh, GED classes and ESL classes for um, those who, are, um, who need to get that extra help to get back out there in the um, job market and so forth. So it is a central part of the community. What the community would do without it, it would be unimaginable. Betty Palmer, an avid reader, has been visiting the Wyandanche Library for more than a decade. This library, you know, they have some really nice activities for the, for the seniors or the children, too. But when I come, because I belong to the Senior Center, the Wyandanche Senior Center, so we have many um, activities, and we usually have it here in the library. And we always come, they show us movies, they have people come from other places and do something on the stage. And it's really nice, very educational. But Palmer, you might say, is a purist. She mainly comes to read. And there are plenty of books, over 112,000 of them. My first love was, was anthropology. And so I, I would go and read all the travel books. And I said, one day I'm going to some of those places. And I did. I went to South Africa and West Africa and Brazil and Israel and Greece. And <laughs> so it's just been fascinating. And it's because of patrons like Betty that the library is preparing for a $1 million expansion which will move them even further along from where they began 40 years ago. Well, when I came on then, we had a big empty space downstairs where was basically we stored all our garbage. And then came up with the idea, well, this can be used and become useful. So we were able to get a grant through the community. And um, when you go downstairs, you'll see we built two lovely rooms downstairs, the bathroom. We're expanding because we find that the downstairs here, there is not a lot of room. I thank God that the trustees had the foresight to choose a building that was designed so we can put an upper level on. And upstairs, we will have uh, a young adult area. They will have their own computers. They will have their books, their DVDs. 
they will have programming, you know, we're going to have all the mar modern technology for the young people. This um, community uh, library is really the hub of this community. The library offers so many things to so many different people and that's the way we do it and that's the way we like it. We try to provide every service that would build this community up and I couldn't even think of not having this library. This library is the epicenter of this community. So without it, uh, it would really be a hardship. Well, especially with its planned expansion, people in the community are hoping the library will be around for at least 40 more years. Well, after the break, we're going to tell you how to contact us to let us know about a hero you think we should know about. So please stay with us.